hello everyone so we are starting our azure data engineering playlist so in this video we are going to cover some of the basic we should know before coming to the data engineering so let us start with what is cloud let us try to understand the cloud computing and then we will move further for the data engineering okay so now let us try to understand what is cloud cloud is nothing but accessing services through a internet that is managed by someone else that is nothing but a cloud what are the different cloud provider we have a aws we have azure we have a gcp now let us try to understand more about it okay so suppose what actually happening we have a different cloud providers okay they are different cloud providers like we have a aws azure and gc what they are saying hey you need any services for services means suppose for taking example storage you need a certain storage you need certain servers so what they are saying hey you need any services you purchase from us and access through a internet and pay as per use pay as per use so that is the concept of the cloud now let us try to understand the actual requirement okay for taking a actual requirement suppose this is you this is your website for taking example suppose this is your flipkart okay now in flipkart what actually happening for taking a example suppose daily 1 million of the users who are coming to the our website okay so what actually we have done based on that you are using a 10 terabyte during normal days okay now suppose you have planned for the big billion day in big billion day our prediction is like this user are going to increase from 1 million to the 20 million and we need uh, some storage so the storage will go from the 10 terabyte to the 100 terabyte so this much storage we need it so that is our our prediction during the big billion day now what actually happening before coming to the cloud what will be the normal scenario i will go and i will do a purchase okay i will go and i will do a purchase 100 terabyte so as of now what actually happening i have a 100 terabyte so everything goes smoothly and uh, during big billion day everything goes smoothly now during normal days when only the 1 million users are accessing during that day only i am utilizing the 10 terabyte of the storage but still 90 terabyte are no use so that is the loss which is happening to overcome this we have a cloud concept in a cloud what actually happening this are the service provider what actually they are saying hey you need a 10 terabyte you purchase from us and whenever you will need whenever you will use you pay for that okay during the big billion day you need 100 terabyte you purchase from us and you pay for that okay so that is the advantage of the cloud computing whenever you will use that only you have to pay okay in normal days you are using 10 terabyte so you pay only for 10 terabyte usage in big billion day you are using 100 terabyte you pay only for the 100 terabyte you do not have to maintain everything we will maintain you only have to pay and you only have to use it so that is the concept of the cloud computing i hope you got idea about the cloud now let us move so we have a different kind of the clouds we have a public cloud we have a private cloud we have a hybrid cloud so let us try to understand public cloud is nothing but which is open to all okay now let us try to understand for taking example we all know about the google drive we all know about the google drive which is open for all so google drive is open for all every user is going opening to the google drive and they are storing their data they are storing their data in our their google drive as of now 15 gb is free so we all are storing our data into the google drive that is open for all and we can access through a internet so that comes under the public cloud which is open to all and we can access through a internet and we have to pay as per use so till 15 gb as of now it is free but you need suppose 30 gb so you can purchase and you have to pay for the 15 gb based on your requirement so that is the concept of the public cloud and it is less secure as compared to the private cloud when we will discuss about the private cloud we will understand more about it okay now coming to the private cloud in a private cloud what actually happening 
you will be having a certain space so this will be your certain space and within a organization within a organization whoever will be having access they can only use these services suppose this is the third party person if they will try to access it they will not be able to access your services within a organization if any services belongs that comes under the private cloud in a private cloud you will be having a, a special space there actually you will be having all the services and within a organization whoever will be having access they only can use it it is more secure than the public because public is open for all but it is whoever will be having access they only can access the data or utilize the services that is the concept of the private cloud it is more secure that's why it is costly as compared to the public cloud okay now coming to the third third one is the hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is nothing but a, it is a combination of the public plus private means it will be having a feature of the private cloud only the some people uh, we can use and some people which can be accessed by other person also so it is a combination of the public cloud and the private cloud i hope you got idea about the public private and the hybrid cloud now coming to the uh, coming to the service model service model so we have a three service model first one is the software as a service second is the platform as a service third is the infrastructure as a service three service model we have now let us try to understand one by one okay suppose suppose you want to open one organization or you want to for that you want to develop one website you want to develop one website okay and that is your requirement now what actually happening is like suppose you don't know anything you don't know coding you don't have any infrastructure i don't know coding i don't have infrastructure i don't have anything where i can host it so that is the problem so what actually you will do you will go to the third party you will tell that what is your requirement and they will try to develop a website for you okay so that comes under the software as a service for taking example we have a gmail right in gmail what actually happening this is developed by the google but what actually we do we only go and we use it right so that comes under the software as a service model now second is the platform as a service in a platform as a service in the same requirement suppose you know coding i know coding but i need compiler where actually i can compile it and execute our code right so for that you need a os runtime middleware right and you need also hosting services for that you need a server storage and networking so when you are depending on all of this then this comes under the platform as a service for taking example we have a elastic bin that is one of the service available by the aws okay that's come under the platform as a service when you have a data you have application but you need somewhere where actually you can you uh, execute or you need a os and you need a some server where actually you can host that comes under the platform as a service now coming to the infrastructure as a service in infrastructure as a service what happens in the same example we'll take i know coding i know coding okay i have a os also where i have runtime also and i can do a compilation and all everything but i need a infrastructure where actually i can host it so for that i need a server storage networking virtualization right so in that case that model comes into the infrastructure as a service okay so we have a three uh, cloud service model we have a software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service when you are totally depending on all the services from the cloud then it comes under the software as a service model when you are depending on the uh, os virtualization server storage networking then it comes under the platform as a service when you are only depending on the server storage networking and the virtualization these things comes under the infrastructure as a service i hope you have got all the idea let us try to quickly revise what is cloud we are accessing service through internet that is managed by someone else is nothing but a cloud we have taken some of the example okay we have different cloud provider aws azure and gcp 
coming to the different types of cloud we have a public private and the hybrid cloud public cloud which is open to all private which is for the specific organization hybrid which is the combination of the public and a private now coming to the service model we have a three service model software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service in a software as a service you are totally dependent on everything with other party that is nothing but a software as a service in platform of service for taking example elastic bin when you have a code you have every you have code but you need a uh, os and you need all the server storage so that you can deploy and host it okay so that comes under the platform as a service in infrastructure as a service you need you have a uh, you have a os you have a middleware runtime data code everything you need only the hosting like server storage and networking that comes under the infrastructure as a service